I'm Dr. Shelley Scarpino, Director of Clinical Education in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders and Coordinator for the Master of Science in Speech Language Pathology Program at Commonwealth University Bloomsburg Campus. This video tour is intended to provide those interested in applying to our Speech Language Pathology Master's Program with an introduction to our student lab, clinic, and workroom facilities spaces and equipment that supplement classroom learning experiences, connecting clinic to class and class to clinic. The Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders is located on the second and third floors of Centennial Hall on the Bloomsburg campus. The second floor houses our department office, some faculty offices, audiology and intraoperative neuromonitoring labs. The third floor houses the Bloomsburg University Speech Language and Hearing Clinic, audiology and speech language pathology labs and workrooms, a preschool classroom, and faculty and staff offices. These are the areas we'll tour on this video. We'll begin with the graduate student clinician workroom. This area houses 11 computer workstations, a printer, and laminator where our clinicians prepare for therapy and complete clinical documentation. Each computer provides access to the clinic's electronic medical records or EMR system. This space provides a place where students can collaborate with each other and meet in small groups with clinical supervisors. The workroom also features storage lockers for graduate clinicians, a refrigerator, microwave, and Keurig, so students have all the comforts of home here. Adjacent to the workroom area is our materials room that houses a plethora of materials for use during therapy sessions. Materials include those specific to speech and language, such as articulation cards and language facilitation games, to more common games, imaginary play toys, arts and crafts materials, sensory toys, a ball pit, and more. Our graduate student clinicians also have access to several iPads that include augmentative and alternative communication, digital reinforcement activities, and digital learning programs such as lesson picks, board maker, peer builder, and various articulation and language-based programs. Also adjacent to the workroom is the clinic library. This room houses a broad range of speech and language standardized assessment instruments with a space to review the assessments and practice their administration with other students in the cohort. The library houses children's books for use in therapy sessions, as well as a number of reference and course textbooks for the graduate student clinician's use. There are five portable audiometers in this room, so students have a space to practice using them prior to going out to several community events where they conduct hearing screenings. The Speech, Language, and Hearing Clinic has a total of 10 speech and language therapy rooms, each with a two-way mirror, which allows for parents and supervisors to observe sessions from an observation hallway without the client being distracted by their presence. A camera and microphones are strategically placed in each room to permit supervisors the opportunity to view the session from the video monitoring room as well. The preschool classroom located on the third floor is operated by a community partner, the Central Susquehanna Intermediate Unit. The classroom teacher is a licensed and ASHA certified speech language pathologist who provides a language rich curriculum for students enrolled in the preschool program. This provides our graduate student clinicians with hands-on classroom experience while earning clinical clock hours as they provide push-in speech language therapy to children in this classroom. The Speech, Language, and Literacy Lab houses four computer workstations where students can access programs for analysis of language samples, including the Systematic Analysis of Language Transcripts, or SALT, program. Various Augmentative and Alternative Communication, or AAC, devices are kept here. They range from low to high tech and can be coupled with a variety of switches. Student clinicians use this space to program the devices for individualized use with their clients. The Instrumentation Lab houses several pieces of high-tech equipment for assessment and treatment of speech and voice disorders, providing students with open access to the equipment for hands-on practice to develop skill for use during client evaluations in the clinic. A video laryngoscope is used to conduct video stroboscopy evaluation of the vocal mechanism. Video stroboscopy is considered the gold standard in laryngeal examinations, allowing the clinician to view the vocal folds during phonation in real time. This aids in differential diagnosis of various voice disorders. 
Students also gain experience with the nasometer, a computerized instrument that measures the amount of nasalance in the speech signal. This tool is used during evaluations of resonance and also provides opportunity for biofeedback during interventions for disorders of nasal resonance, such as hypernasality following surgery to repair cleft palate. Student clinicians have open access to the equipment in this lab so they can practice use of the equipment for their class assignments or for use with clients during voice and speech evaluations. The video monitoring room provides supervisors with a place from which to observe therapy sessions. The monitors allow multiple therapy sessions to be observed at one time. Cameras are able to be controlled remotely from this room so that supervisors can zoom in and change camera angles for better views of the client and student clinician interactions and clinician documentation during their sessions. Therapy sessions can be recorded. This provides an opportunity for clinicians to review and analyze their sessions either independently or with the guidance of a clinic supervisor. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the Speech, Language, and Hearing Clinic and Student Lab facilities at Commonwealth University Bloomsburg. If you have any questions about our graduate program in Speech, Language, Pathology, please feel free to contact me by email or phone.